Hello, it's Mr. Biden. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make snowfall on After Effects. And to do this, you have to go in Photoshop first and new default Photoshop size. And just make it 300 pixels per inch. And then, first of all, we have to make the snow. So, new layer, select the brush tool, snowflake. I'm going to make the snowflake first. So. Duplicate that, move tool, and then if you can't get it exactly right, just press shift, snap to position, duplicate, uh, shift, no, no, sorry, shift, yeah, that's about it. Duplicate, shift, and there is a snowfall. To make it even more snowfall, like you can add these little triangle thing to them like sorry let me say like don't think like uh just like things you get in snow just press shift and you can make them like this that uh, should fit on there just a bit bigger maybe yeah that's it okay and then once you've got one done you can duplicate them take that there shift and that goes. Duplicate the, both the layers. Twist. Shift. Duplicate four of the layers. This is quite fast if you think about it. Okay, the only problem now is that it's black. So you can first of all you're gonna merge all these layers. No, sorry. Shift. No control Z. Oh damn it. Um, what did I just do there? Oh, yes, duplicate layers. I think I undoed. Sure. There, and you just want to uh, merge the layers. Merge layers. Delete the background because you want it to be transparent. Like, transparent snowfall. Okay. Image adjustments. Use saturation and make it white. Okay. Now, you just want to save this. Save as bloody bloody blah snowflake. I have one there. Bye. Save it. Then just quit. And then go into After Effects. Composition. New composition. One eighty by seven twenty. About okay. Seven seconds. And then okay. Oh, this is the wrong. Okay. And then you just want to make. Double click, load up snowflake, open, merge layers, okay, and uh, snowflakes here. Just drag it on, there's a snowflake, but it's a bit too big and it's not really satisfying our needs, so just hide that layer, pressing that button there. Layer, new layer, new, solid, make comp size, doesn't matter, just black, doesn't matter what color, I'm not sure. Effects and press effects and presses particle. Now this is called particle world and it's quite useful. And um, when you start up, there's nothing there. If you turn the time on, just click there to get rid of the guides. And this is basically a fountain of golden lines. The start there's none because it hasn't exploded yet. So go into the particle and just drag left that. Like and then drag that up there. So now it starts. It's already started when you start. Okay. But this isn't anything like snowfall. So this can be used for rain as well. If you. But first of all, you have to make it go to physics. Velocity zero. That's where you're going to start off. Things are falling down. Increase. Oh, no. I should increase X. Increase that there. Then increase Y. Then you can get a look. Then this is a 3D tool, so should, no, no. should be. Oh, I don't have a camera, so if I did, I could show you around. No, that won't work. Okay, so that's just the rain falling, but we want snow. You can make it. You can make it rain if you want, just by changing those colors to make them blue, and then it'll work. 
And then if you want to make it snow, just go to particle type, line, textured square. Now you can't see anything because you haven't applied the texture. Texture, texture layer, snowflake. Now bits of snowflake are falling, not good enough for me, so change them to white. That's the first step, make them bigger, next step. Uh, 1.2 be okay. Yeah, 1.2. 1 point. 1 point. 1 point 1.2. 1 point 1.2. 1 point 1.5. This, you know, snow is, the snow things are melting. And there you go, you've got snow falling. You can improve this by closing the panels. Uh -huh. Decreasing birth rate. Just a bit. Increasing longevity. And then it looks very realistic. If I just render a bit for you. And everybody has to wait for render times, unfortunately. I don't think it's a full, is it? Um, there you go. No. Didn't render. All of it. Oh, stopped it again, sorry. Okay, one click now. Just rendering. And you can use there many things. You can actually put anything you want to make them fall. You could do grenades, smiley faces. I'm not sure. You can do loads of things. So that's how it looks. Snow falling. Might looks quite realistic. And you can add text to it. Say Merry Christmas, etc. And that's how to make snowfall. Thanks for watching. It's Mr. Bite. Bye bye.